The new FIA Formula E Championship kicks off in September 2014 with a 10-race calendar spanning the globe. The first round is right here in London, backed by the Mayor Boris Johnson. Sustainability is the key here. Increasingly, global brands, when considering a sponsorship in Formula One or other conventional motorsport, are asking awkward questions about sustainability. Formula E fills that gap. We are uh, probably the motor sports championship that really carries that flag, uh, you know, is leading that, that, that flag of sustainability uh, because we are full electric. Of course, this entails other difficulties because we have to develop the electric cars, this is a new kind of racing, everything starts from scratch. But the advantage is that we are immediately perceived as a sustainable championship. And not only that, uh, we uh, have made research and studies that we present to our sponsors in which we show that the championship is not only sustainable, but will have a positive effect in the quality of air in the cities, for example, by promoting the use of electric cars. We have done research that shows that by the people, by seeing a championship of electric cars, will be more inclined to buy electric cars. And that's really the, the message of our championship. And we find that that's being really powerful when approaching sponsors. One of the unusual features of Formula E is that to start with, drivers will swap cars midway through the race. Everybody feels very curious about this concept of swapping cars. It brings a lot of controversy. Some people criticize it. But again, by criticizing it, they bring it up in the discussion. So we think it's an element that is going to attract definitely attention. This will show also very clearly the development of batteries. When batteries last on the second season 30 minutes instead of 25, then the third season will last 40 minutes, and then we will probably not need to swap cars. People will be able to see very clearly the advance on the performance of batteries, which is what we really want to show in, in, in this championship. The 10 race calendar of host venues around the world illustrates which cities are open to innovation, and there's a novel approach to the scheduling of the series, so it doesn't overlap too much with Formula One. We are very seriously um, considering and discussing with, uh, with the FIA to do a calendar that goes on the other way around of different other championships, so to start in September and to finish in June, to do a little bit of a championship like, the, like football or like other sports that overlap over two years. Uh, we think this will give us a unique positioning. Now we have announced actually eight cities, the first eight cities where we will host our races. Los Angeles, Miami, Rio, Buenos Aires, London, Rome, Beijing and Putrajaya, the capital of uh, Malaysia. And uh, that has been, of course, a very important announcement. We have two more cities in the pipeline. And I would say that in terms of cities, it has become a bit of a snowball effect. And we have probably now over 40 cities that have expressed interest. Today, I'm proud to announce that Los Angeles has been selected to be a host city for the inaugural season of Formula E. America in general has been extremely open to the championship. Also South America, Brazil, Argentina, uh, and Asia has been extremely open to the championship. In Europe, sadly, because I'm European, I must say that it's, it's, everything is a little bit slower, a little bit more difficult. Uh, people is very enthusiastic. I would say London is, is probably, in this sense, looks more like California than, than, than Europe. Formula E is seeking a different audience from Formula One and conventional motorsports. Die-hard petrol heads are not expected to be interested. Instead, it's seeking a younger audience with a long-term objective of turning them into tomorrow's electric car buyers. The target is that these kids that are now 12, when they buy a car, the first cars they buy, it's an electric car. If they have been playing with electric cars, on a video game, if they have been watching electric uh, formula cars racing, they will be more inclined to buy an electric car when they buy their first car. So it's a, it's a, it's a long-term uh, program, it's a long-term objective. You know, these kids don't want to have a car anymore, they want to have an iPad. It's very interesting. Uh, we, we were, when we were kids, we all wanted to have a car. You know, of course, some people dream of a Ferrari, and other people dream of a Porsche, and other people dream of that these kids need to have the best smartphone or the best tablet where they can play, where they can communicate with their friends. So we have to change the mind and, and go through those channels to them. <laughs>